Hi, I'm Barbara Selig Brown, and this is Tom Beyer. We want to welcome you to Stress Free Cooking. Today, Barbara, first of all, do you like my outfit? I do. It's my, I've never seen this it's before. It's my kitchen toolkit, so I have all my appliances at my fingertips right here. Wow, that's impressive. It is, it's wonderful. So what do you have here? I meat have thermometer? a meat thermometer, a whisk, a grater, a couple spatulas over here, wooden spoon, and tongs. Maybe I should let you take over. Maybe you should. <laughs> Well, I could, I could start off and see, let you pick up and carry the show. Okay, I'll give okay. it a try. <laughs> Not. All right. <laughs> so, we are going to make some dishes today with zucchini and some seafood. So the first one's gonna be our garlicky shrimp in a zucchini boat. So let's start with the zucchini boats. And I need a couple of nice zucchini. Let's see. I think this looks like the right size. So I'm gonna cut the top and the tail off of the zucchini. And then I'm gonna cut it in half lengthwise so that you can see it's going to start to become a little boat that I can stuff. And to do the stuffing, I need to take the middle out. But we're not gonna lose the middle. We're actually gonna saute the middle with some shrimp, cherry tomatoes, garlic, and the inside of the zucchini, okay? So let's start by scoring the zucchini lengthwise. And I wanna leave a little edge on each end so that it contains our shrimp stuffing. And we'll score it all the way down the length of the zucchini. Okay, we'll do both of these, like so. Oop, that was a little narrow, okay. And then I'm gonna scoop out the middle with a spoon. If you have a grapefruit spoon, which has serrations on the tip of the spoon, that works really well. And makes your life a little bit easier. So take a spoon and scoop out the inside of the zucchini. It comes out really easy. And we're just gonna set this aside for right now. And you can see I'm creating a nice place to put my shrimp stuffing. So to start this dish, we score the zucchini, we take the middle out, and then we're going to put it in the oven for about 20 minutes with some olive oil, salt, and pepper just to soften it up. And then once that's done, we can put our stuffing in it and return it to the oven just long enough to melt the mozzarella cheese that we're gonna put on top of this dish. Okay, so Tom, if you would put these in that baking dish, and could you just drizzle a little bit of extra virgin olive oil down the center? Perfect. And a couple pinches of our salt and pepper blend to season it. Great, good job. So we have a bowl with salt and pepper blended in it so that we don't have to do this twice. We just do it once. And then they're gonna go into an oven that's about 350 or 400 degrees, 15 or 20 minutes, sure, till they're fork tender. So while they're roasting or baking and softening up, I'm gonna let Tom take over and he's gonna start with our crushed garlic. And we're gonna save this, okay? So I'm gonna get the saute pan ready for you. We'll heat it up, we'll add some extra virgin olive oil, a clove of crushed garlic, and then we're going to uh, take the tails off of our shrimp, throw them in here, and saute this whole mixture. A little Parmesan cheese gets added to this once it's had a chance to cool for a bit, and all of this goes into that zucchini boat. So when you're done with that garlic, just throw it in here. And you can actually put the zucchini in here now that I have the extra virgin olive oil in here. This dish goes together really well, really quickly, I should say. So we were discussing that this is one of those great dishes that you can make on a moment's notice because most of the shrimp that comes into this country comes in frozen. So when you buy shrimp at the seafood counter in your favorite store, it's usually been frozen and thawed. 
I usually buy my shrimp frozen, keep it in the freezer, so it's, it defrosts quickly and it cooks quickly. So on those nights when you don't know what to cook, a sauteed shrimp dish, a stir-fried shrimp, shrimp with pasta, they're all really quick, easy dishes that you could make on a moment's notice with ingredients that you have in the house. We've had this for appetizers too. Sometimes yeah, it makes a great appetizer. appetizer. You can right. cut it into smaller pieces. Right. People really do enjoy that. And it looks pretty too. It makes its own sauce, which is really savory and really delicious, don't you think? Yeah, it's wonderful. It's one of our favorites. And we're using cherry tomatoes that are baby heirloom tomatoes. So we have lots of varieties. We have yellow, we have a green tomato, we have a regular red tomato, and that also adds color. We like to look cook with color, don't we? We do. Because it gives us a variety in not only what the dish looks like, but in the nutritional value of each vegetable right. that we put in the dish. Ready to go in? Yeah, great. And then um, the next thing is, if you wouldn't mind, take the tails off those shrimp and we'll cut them in half. So shrimp comes in all different sizes. And we're using a what they consider a large shrimp today, but we do want to cut it so that it's bite-sized and fits into the cavity of that zucchini boat. I often buy the shrimp that are, say, six to a pound, but it's a waste to cut up that big of a shrimp, don't you think, Tom? Yeah, these work out much these, better. And they, of bite, course, the smaller shrimp are also more economical. Right. So, you know, I save the large, the really jumbo or colossal shrimp for dishes where I don't have to cut them up. Right. So let me grab something to stir this with, because I don't wear my tools all the time. I'll have to teach you how to become more efficient. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna saute this. I need a pinch or two of salt and pepper in here. Alrighty. Once those shrimp are cut in half, we'll throw them in here. Okay, and this is gonna shrimp cook super quickly. Once the shrimp is pink and cooked and opaque, then we can turn this off, add our Parmesan cheese, and hopefully our zucchini will be pork tender by then. Now we're using extra virgin olive oil because extra virgin olive oil is heart healthy. This recipe probably could have been started with butter, but we try and go with heart healthy ingredients in this house. The olive oil is terrific. I like the taste. Yep, all of that goes right in here. Now you can also find all these recipes on the website stressfreecooking.com under the TV show section and let us know how you like them once you try them. So this will cook, as I said, this will cook very quickly. The second dish that we're going to make today is a zoodle or a zucchini noodle with sauteed scallops. So once we get our zucchini boats in the oven, we're going to switch over to our zoodle dish. And we have a zoodle or a zucchini noodle maker. It's a great investment, isn't it? Yeah, you find them everywhere. They're in all the grocery stores. They're online. Online, yeah, they're everywhere. <laughs> right. They're everywhere. Very popular. And by doing the, the noodles yourself, it's about one uh, quarter of what they charge in or, the store. Or, yeah, or even better than that. You know, a, a small container of those zucchini noodles can be about eight dollars. You can buy, you know, two of these zucchinis for two dollars. Right. So it's really, and you get a lot more. That looks terrific. Huh? Thank you. So this is just about done. I'm going to turn off the heat. Um, and actually, Tom, why don't you shred that mozzarella? Because we're going to be ready for that soon. Okay. And I will take the Parmesan and give this a second to cool off. And then I'm going to add some Parmesan to this. It looks like our shrimp mixture is ready. We've cooled it off a bit, and we're gonna add some Parmesan Reggiano cheese. Okay, I think I'm gonna check on those uh, zucchinis. All righty. These 
should be done. Let's check it with a fork. We want it fork tender. Perfect. Okay. So now I am going to stuff my zucchini with my garlicky shrimp mixture. And I'd rather do this with a nice big spoon. So I don't make too much of a mess. So again, our stuffing is the zucchini cut out from the center, shrimp, cherry tomatoes or grape tomatoes cut in half, a clove of garlic, two if you really like garlic. Once it's cooked, we added some Parmesan Reggiano and now we're stuffing this into the zucchini. I like them stuffed and overstuffed because it looks better. Plus the shrimp is the best part, right? Exactly. So Tom, if you would shred some of that Crave Brothers mozzarella, we want to sprinkle some of that over the top of this. And then we put it in the oven and we just put it in the oven long enough to melt that mozzarella cheese and make it nice and ooey and gooey. Lucky I have my tool belt on and my <laughs> shredder is handy. Yes, we are lucky. Okay, that looks great. We just need enough to sprinkle over the top. Okay. Perfect. And also when you're shredding cheese like that, it, the colder the cheese is, the easier it will be to shred. That looks great. Perfect, just the right amount. Okay. okay, thank you. Pop these into the oven. We're gonna clean up and we'll come back and work on our zucchini noodles with scallops. Cake Bread Cellars was founded in 1973 by Jack and Dolores Cake Bread. Now the second generation of cake breads are running the winery. Cake Bread has been known for its unparalleled wines and its gracious hospitality. Mainly in the Napa Valley and the North Coast, you can visit the winery or watch for cake bread events in your area. With an enduring commitment to quality, the belief that life's occasions are elevated by good people, good food, and good wine flows through everything they do. The cake breads take great pride in sharing their family with our families. While our garlicky shrimp stuffed zucchini is in the oven, let's start on our second recipe. So for this recipe, we're going to use a zucchini, some fresh garlic, some grape or cherry tomatoes, whatever you have, whatever's available, extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper, polenta, and some scallops. So this is going to turn into zucchini noodles with sauteed polenta dusted scallops. And we have a couple steps to do. So Tom, if you would do the garlic first, and we're gonna crush it with the side of our chef's knife like we always do, because it's easier to peel it that way. And I have a little bit of heart healthy extra virgin olive oil in my saute pan, heating up for when the garlic is chopped and ready to go in the pan. This dish has a lot of similar ingredients to the last one, but the end result is very, very different. And zucchini and tomatoes just happen to be a natural together. So this will work out quite well. Okay, so into the pan with the garlic we go. Thank you. And the next thing we have to do is work on our zucchini noodles. So as you can see, Tom has another tool 
I'm going to cut the tomatoes first. Okay, you can cut the oh, tomatoes okay, first. Put... And then we'll put them back in the bowl. Oh, I thought my mistake, I thought they were going in first. That's okay. They have to be cut either way. And of course, we always talk about getting all the ingredients prepped and ready before you start the stove. So this is a good example of how important it is to have that done in advance. So we'll cut those tomatoes in half and then we will put them back in that little bowl until we're ready. In the meantime, let's check on this garlic and get that oil evenly distributed. We can use so little oil, but we still want it evenly distributed over the bottom of the pan. First, I'm going to cut off both ends of the zucchini. Then, to make it a little easier to operate the zoodler, I cut it in half this way. Great. And we have the cutting board there because we like the noodles to drop onto the cutting board. You could put a piece of parchment. You could actually put your pan under there if you wanted to. Okay. So this suctions to your counter. And then when you're all done, you take it apart and you can actually put this in your dishwasher on the top rack. So that looks good. Beautiful. So let's see. Hold those up. Let's see how nice those zucchini Nice those noodles are. come out. Perfect. It's a great variation instead of pasta all the time, too. Yep. We've done it with bolognese sauce. Um, and it's you're not going to trick yourself into thinking you're eating pasta. But what the beauty of that is, you do know that you're eating something lower carb, less calories. So I think it tastes really good to use these in place of pasta on occasion. They're also good um, with even a grilled chicken, a piece of grilled chicken on top. You can do anything with this. This is very versatile. So zucchini will take on the flavor of whatever else is in the dish. Okay. All right, great. So um, those can go in here because our garlic is starting to become fragrant. And when the garlic becomes fragrant, you know that you want to keep your eye on it so that it doesn't get too brown or blackened. And once these start to cook down, they're going to cook very quickly. I'm going to turn my stove down and I will start working on the scallops. So I'm going to add my extra virgin olive oil to the pan. I'm going to saute the scallops in. And we'll turn this on and get this warmed up. Okay, Tom, why don't you add those tomatoes to this? Okay. And then I'll need your tongs so that I can toss this around a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Maybe you need your own belt. Maybe I need my own belt. We'll have to talk to Adam about that. A okay. um, couple pinches of salt and pepper in here. And then while this is cooking, we'll start working on those scallops. So if I could have the polenta in this dish, all of it could go in there. And another pinch or two of salt and pepper. We're gonna wait for this pan to get nice and hot. And then we're gonna dredge our scallops in the polenta. So we have giant scallops here. And you want to check the scallops, and if they have this little flap on the side, it's called a foot. It holds it to the clam, to the scallop shell. You want to remove that. That makes it a little bit tough. Okay. Sometimes they have them, sometimes they don't. Scallops are very sweet, don't you think? Yes. Plus they cook really quickly. They only take a couple of minutes on each side. So let's check the noodles. These are cooking nicely. And again, we have great color here, red, yellow, green, white. It looks beautiful. And it'll also look beautiful on our plate. So I think we can see how hot this is. Almost, it feels like it's getting hot. And just hold your hand over the pan. You don't want to throw oil, a water in your oil. Some people used to do that to see if it would splatter. It's really not a safe thing to do. It actually 
uh, is not safe to put water into oil because they don't mix and you could get burned. So let's see how hot this is. Good, all right, I got a nice sizzle. So this is all we do with scallops. It's very simple, but the reason we're doing this is crunch, right? Yes, yes. You, I like, like, I you like said you needed the, the scallops crunchier. Yeah. Right. Okay. So give those a couple of seconds. Okay, and we're working with seafood, so make sure you keep wiping your hands or washing your hands. And we're just gonna give these a couple seconds to cook. One of the questions that we get often is, what's the difference between a dry scallop and a non-dry scallop or wet? And really, the dry scallop is just a scallop that once it's caught and shelled, has not had anything added to it. So if you have the opportunity to get dry scallops, that's a much better option, because the less preservatives, the better, right? Right. We try and do everything as fresh and natural as fun. possible. I think even the best is that they call the day scallop, right? Which they're guaranteed they were caught that day. Right, and right. Yeah. there's no preservatives. Great. You know, again, we talk about this all the time, but the freshness of your ingredients, the quality of your ingredients, they all make a difference in your finished dish. And you get more bang for the buck or more flavor per dollar if you use Fresher, Fresh. more high quality mm, right. ingredients, right? Okay, now this is gonna come together really fast. So I'm gonna get my serving plate ready. This is a really great quick weeknight supper. Again, you can buy scallops frozen, keep them frozen in your freezer. They defrost really quick. You can have a couple of zucchinis, some cherry tomatoes. Always garlic, always olive oil, right? Quick and easy. Quick and easy and delicious and really healthy. This is a very low calorie dish. Okay. And they look good. That's how I like them. They crisp nice up. Nice and brown and crispy. Bit, yeah. Okay, so we'll give those a couple of minutes on this side. I'm going to check our shrimp. Looking good. Okay. So we'll leave that in the oven until we're ready for it. In the meantime, while those are finishing to cook, Let's turn these zucchini noodles out onto the plate. Okay, and that looks pretty. Looks pretty. Beautiful. That would be a great side dish just by itself. Okay, so let's put the scallops on the plate. They're nice and brown on both sides. And there we go. So that is our zucchini noodles with polenta dusted scallops. Let's clean up and we'll come back with our shrimp in the zucchini. Cake Bread Cellars was founded in 1973 by Jack and Dolores Cake Bread. Now the second generation of cake breads are running the winery. Cake Bread has been known for its unparalleled wines and its gracious hospitality. Mainly in the Napa Valley and the North Coast, you can visit the winery or watch for Cake Bread events in your area. With an enduring commitment to quality, the belief that life's occasions are elevated by good people, good food, and good wine flows through everything they do. The Cake Breads take great pride in sharing their family with our families. So Tom, what wine have you selected to go with our shrimp and scallop dishes? We have chosen the Cake Bread Cellars Sauvignon Blanc. It's 
because of the high acidity the level. High acidity? Perfect. Nice and light for seafood and also light for veggie dishes. Yes. So that's a great choice. Look at the color, it's so light. It's like a straw-like color. It is. It smells good. I smell mm. some nice citrus and let's give it a taste. Cheers. Mm. Do you feel that acid on your tongue? You do. Perfect for these dishes. Yes. Yep. Let me grab the shrimp. Okay, so our shrimp baked beautifully, right? And you know, you can make as many of these as you want. We just made two because there's two of, two us. of us. But this is an easy dish to multiply for a crowd. We had dinner party Saturday night and we made eight of these. Eight of them. So, let's give it a taste. Actually, I'll let you, uh, how about if you could put a scallop and some of those zucchini noodles on that plate, and I'll do the zucchini, the shrimp. So a couple tastes of the shrimp for us. Wow, this one's like a mile That's a really long. long one. That's why we cut it in half, yeah. because they can be really, really long. I think we'll taste the scallops first since the shrimp just came out of the oven. Hey, that's good. Okay, here you go, there's a fork for you. I'm gonna try the scallop first because the shrimp is probably still very hot. hot. Oh, it's terrific. Mm. Mm. Just the way you like it, nice mm -hmm. and crispy? Mm -hmm. Good. I'm glad you made that suggestion to make the scallops crispy. You could also grill the scallops. If you have a grill pan, one of my favorite things to do is to grill my scallops or my chicken breast. Let's try the shrimp. Right. Mm. I love that shrimp dish. One of our favorites. That is. I'm Barbara Selig Brown. This is Tom Beyer. We want to thank you very much for watching us today on Stress Free Cooking. You can find us on Instagram at Stress Free Cook, on Facebook, Stress Free Cooking with host Barbara Selig Brown. You can also find these recipes on my website, Stress Free Cooking. We wish you health, happiness, and delicious dishes. Thank you for watching. Salute.